everyone. So this, this may not be the most flattering angle, but it's all I could do. I'm not at my house. I'm staying at a friend's house. And so um, this, this is what I have to work with. So I'm, <laughs> I'm actually sitting on the floor. And uh, yeah, I have Liv and I have a chihuahua when we're walking around. So if you see those, they're here. Liv's right here, actually, right off camera. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to share with you my first wax haul of the new year. It'll probably be, oh, one of the last because I, I am, yeah, having to save a lot of money. So, um, apologize for the barking dogs. I They are not mine and they bark all the time. Anyway, um, I, but I did receive like the most incredible pre-order and I wanted to show you. This is from, this is the first time I've ever ordered from um, this vendor and I'm just, I'm like overwhelmed and this is great. So I ordered from Handmade, oh no, yes. Is that what it's called? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I ordered from Handmade in Florida and uh, Zahida is the name of the owner of that company. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I, yeah, she has the most amazing customer service. I have issues with my PayPal and I apologize to everybody who sees this if they've had to deal with my PayPal account because it's very frustrating to me too. And so, yeah, she had to deal with my lovely PayPal issue and she just took it in stride and still I got this amazing package and she was so patient and kind. So I just, I'm very appreciative. So anyway, um, I'm going to share with you everything that I got and just like a first impressions. I obviously haven't melted or used anything yet but let's start off with the samples and this is such a nice little you know selection you see, you see the little chihuahua it's dexter just just make yourself at home yeah hi so first things first this is um a, a whipped sugar scrub this is in lavender cream brulee um lavender essential oil vanilla bean and caramelized sugar and it smells so good so this is like a uh, herbally lavender I'm smell it. I'm balanced out with that sugary sweetness and it's, I love it. You can definitely tell that it's an essential oil too. It has that scent versus an artificial lavender. And these are all soap samples. This first one is Venus, uh, lavender, geranium, and patchouli featuring freshwater pearls and pink clay. So I'm not gonna take every sample out. I'm just gonna kind of sniff. This one smells like a really calming, soothing, Spa. Then we have Pillow Talk. This is Warm Amber, Tonka Beans, Creamy Vanilla, and French Lavender. Oh, this smells so good. Um, I think it's the Amber and Tonka. Oh, I love, I love Amber. This is Serenity. This is Lavender, Eucalyptus, and Mint Essential Oils. What are you looking at? <laughs> mm, it smells really good. The mint in here is really nice. It's um, just bordering on sweet. And last is Spa Time, and this is, it just has a refreshing blend of essential oils and then the French and Australian clay. Oh, this smells so good. I did yoga for a while. Um, he's going to make a nest. Um, and so, hey, leave it. Lay down. Sorry. So I, did, I used to do yoga, and in the studio they used to have an essential oil diffuser or whatever and this smells exactly like that it smells really really like zen and relaxing and calm um i ordered lots of wax and two soaps so the first soap this is cedar and saffron rich cedar infused with sensual smoky scents of patchouli sandalwood and vetiver topped with eastern spices and a trace of white musk so her soap is packaged really nicely in these like boxes that just look so professional and um oh, it smells incredible it smells like the patchouli mostly and the cedar it's not a dirty patchouli either it's really clean then i ordered southern rose this is a delicate arrangement of lush velvet roses and sweet southern magnolias on a sandalwood and amber base i've been really into rose lately and i always like um sandalwood and amber so this is just perfect it's so the rose is realistic and then the, I guess it's the amber and sandalwood. They just really like, it's, it's like a sensual scent. So that is really nice. I'm overwhelmed. 
So um, I have some wax melts and then I ordered three samplers. So I'm gonna show the loose wax melts first or the individual wax melts first. This first one is Indian Rose, Velvety Roses, Dark Aged Patchouli, Oak Moss, and Incense. And look at how big these are. I mean, it's big on my head. Um, and can you see the detail? Look at that, it's just beautiful. And it smells so good. Mm. So the patchouli again is a clean deep patchouli. And the rose is just really like, it's soft. This is really pretty. I like that one a whole lot. Next is Amber Dreams, an exotic blend of rich amber and warm vanilla and sensual sandalwood. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So it definitely smells like sandalwood and, and oh, mm. it's a really deep, light, comforting scent. He nests all day. Just nester, just lay down, lay down. Next is Ritual Lavender, Lavender, Sage, Rosemary, and Woodsy Smoke, billowing from the sacred ritual of smudging. So this one definitely has that sage. This is a really earthy blend. It's nice to find a vendor who does earthy. Like I know we have our, you know, minty, bakery, sweet, fruity. This is, I love this. This is incredible. Um, French vanilla and oak, a sensuous blend of oak, sandalwood, benzoin, and French vanilla. Oh, this smells so good. It's a really like, woodsy vanilla I guess that would make sense right and it just there's something like also I guess it's the benzoin that's really comforting this one is uh, peppermint fluff refreshing peppermint blended with warm vanilla and sweet fluffy marshmallows this is a little uh, Mickey and this smells like uh, it smells kind of like twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works and then something a little earthy this is black currant cake, delicious blend of sweet blackberry, or excuse me, black currant jam layered between fluffy vanilla cake. So, I mean, even these sun shots are huge. I don't like this one. <laughs> this smells like, um, mm, it smells almost like bread, like, um, it's not cakey, it's bready. It's, but it's not baguette. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that one. Let's move all this stuff. All right. So I ordered three samplers. Let's start with this one. This one's called with love. This one's called with love from Florida from the keys to the panhandle and a few fun places in between. These wax melts are inspired by the beautiful sunshine state. So they came really nicely packaged, you know, obviously with um, bows and whatnot, but I took those off for the sake of the video and promptly, I'm sorry. Okay. So first, this is Sarasota, inspired by tea time at Maple Ringling's Rose Garden in Sarasota, Florida. Vanilla cake drizzled with an orange and rose glaze. I like that the notes are all on each of these. It's really nice. So this one smells like a rosy, slightly soapy sweet cake. Like almost like a, I don't know, that's, that's like, this is what it smells like, like a soapy cake. In a good way. <laughs> then I have Coral and Gables inspired by a rich history and old world glamour of Coral Gables with notes of sweet florals and warm musk. So the floral is very strong and it is sweetened and then in the background there's that deeper kind of musk and I really like the way these um, look. They're really nicely done. West Palm Beach, a blend of fresh Fresh citrus, sweet grass, exotic floral, and ocean air. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like I'm sitting in like that, you know, the long grass next to the beach. And just, yeah, it's really pretty. These are, these are great. <laughs> clear water, inspired by a, relax, a relaxing walk along Clearwater Beach with a soft white sand and crystal clear water. So this one smells like, there's like a sweet mint and leather. It's really cool. I like that. It looks really nice. Um, Fountain of Youth, inspired by the Fountain of Youth in San Augustine with notes of fresh water and lush green landscapes. I can't go to sleep in this nest. So 
So it's definitely a watery kind of scent, but without that, like, there's not really an ozone. This is really, this is pretty. It smells like fresh air. And lastly, Captiva Island, inspired by the unspoiled beaches of Captiva Island, known for its abundant seashells. Um, this one smells like, it smells almost exactly like a melt I just recently got from SEMA Wax Melts, and I wish I had my stuff with me and I would tell you. I'm not really sure what the notes are in here. Mm, it smells really good. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that was the, um, with love from Florida sampler. The pieces of the wax included are large. They're very big. Um, next is Winter Wonderland, a collection of wintry wax treats. And this has a bunch, so these ones are just a little bit smaller. I mean, how cute. Can you see? It's a little, uh, there we go, gingerbread house. So this is Silent Night, a relaxing blend of lavender and peppermint. So it's again that herbly lavender and just the kind of, this one smells like buttermints, lavender buttermints. Um, donut shop, fried dough with notes of sparkling sugar crystals, vanilla and strawberry jam filling. Oh, it smells so good, that strawberry jam, delicious. <clears throat> Uh, Berry Christmas, a festive blend of frosted berries and vanilla. This one smells like sweet perfumed berries and just a hint of vanilla. Peppermint Fluff, refreshing peppermint blended with warm vanilla and sweet fluffy marshmallows. This again smells like the Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works and then like a buttermint kind of scent. Um, fresh Snow, a refreshing blend of lavender, mint, whipped cream, vanilla, and confectioner sugar. And this one is another one of her like, this is a really pretty snowflake on it. She's, they're great. This one smells, it almost has a perfumey note. Mmm, it smells really good. Then there's Relax and Unwind, a relaxing blend of lavender, mint, eucalyptus, marshmallow, fluff, and vanilla. This one smells like um, lavender essential oil with just a little bit of like the eucalyptus in the back. It's really pretty. Um, Calm Cottage, a relaxing blend of eucalyptus, spearmint, and vanilla. Lots of relaxing. I have a lot of relaxing to do, so. Oh, it smells so good. I want to use this one. This smells like um, a really sweet, rich vanilla and then just little bits of mint. And lastly, Eskimo Kisses, a winter treat with notes of frosted fir needles, warm cinnamon, and sweet marshmallows. So it smells like pine tree. I really like, like I'm outside in a pine forest with marshmallows. I mean, it's really, that's, Perfect, perfect description. Lastly, this is what I was like most excited for. This is her Earthy, um, like sampler. Surprise me, Wax Sash Earthy, I guess is what it's called. So there's a whole bunch of different melts in here. En Enchanted Woods, a deep and sultry blend of patchouli, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and myrrh. This one is a little bit lighter scented, but I can smell like every note, it smells so good. This will be really, really nice coming up here. I'm moving and it's um, snowing where I'm moving. So this will be like, it's really comforting and it smells like what I want my home to smell like, you know? Ugh. Allergies or something today. I'm like all itchy and red. Anyway, sandalwood rose, uh, ancient sandalwood blended with velvet rose petals, jasmine, amber, and musk. So this one smells a lot of the incense. Is there incense? Did I even say that? No, I didn't. It smells a lot of incense. I have a pet. I can smell, I guess it's the musk and I can smell the jasmine mostly, which is kind of surprising. It smells really nice. Teddy bear's picnic, crisp pine needles, rich fir balsam and sweet berries blended with warm spices, patchouli and vanilla. 
So this smells like, it smells like that pine, um, like a pine forest and I don't smell anything else but pine, but it smells like a realistic sap smell. Like, you know, when you get, when you're outside, you get sap. It, that's, it smells like she took sap with thin wax. It smells like incredibly authentic. Pillow Talk, central blend of warm amber tonka beans, creamy vanilla, and French lavender. This is um, the same as the soap. It smells really, really good still. Like a rich, or a rich, a sweet herbly lavender. Um, patchouli Passion, a sweet blend of patchouli, berries, bergamot, musk, and vanilla. I like the color of this one too. It's like, look at that. It's like Valentine's Day in a wax bar. It smells like berries and patchouli and yeah, it's really, really pretty. I want to, like a lotion or something in that. That smells really nice. Um, Mother Earth, an earthy blend of delicate florals, oak moss, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's definitely earthy. It smells like, wow. Um, it smells like the vetiver a lot, and then just the slightest hint of the vanilla and florals. Liv is laying on her back with her legs straight up in the air and snoring. <laughs> so... That's that's a nice distraction. Um, next is Father Time, a complex blend of citrus, amber, vanilla, cardamom, patchouli, and musk. This smell, I smelled this before. It smells really, really good. It smells like a nighttime kind of bath, or and then just just a little sweet. Mm, I love that. <clears throat> and lastly. This is rose oak, rose oak, velvet rose, petals, gentian, warm, vanilla, sweet amber, oak moss, van, uh, sandalwood, and patchouli. So I get a little bit of a smoky kind of scent, like a sweet smoky, and then the um, rose. So that concludes everything I got. Um, I Obviously, I haven't tried these yet, um, but I'm really excited to find a vendor who does kind of like more earthy, um, the sound of woods, the ambers, the musks, and that vetiver and oak, like these are, it's incredible. Uh, like I said, I only didn't care for one and that's only because it smells like bread. <laughs> but other than that, like I am obsessed, like I want, I can't decide which one I want to melt first and I'm really excited to start melting. So that is my handmade in Florida, um, haul. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, or you have any favorites from this vendor, please let me know and thank you for watching.